Over at the Texas Tech Law School this week, a much needed discussion over one of Lubbock's most infamous wrongful convictions. That of Tim Cole, the young black Texas Tech student wrongly accused of a rape on campus nearly 38 years ago. Two of his siblings who've made it their life mission to keep their brother, brother's story alive returned to Lubbock last night to talk about Tim's case and what all needs to be done to make sure it doesn't happen again. KLBK's Elizabeth Fitz was there and has more on the very important conversation. This panel covered a lot of ground in an hour and a half, talking about ways to prevent wrongful convictions, how to affect legislative change, and what committing to criminal justice reform looks like from legal and advocacy perspectives. Timothy Cole was a veteran and student at Texas Tech in 1985 when he was wrongfully accused and later convicted of sexually assaulting a fellow student. The only thing Tim had in common with the tech rapist was that he was black. He maintained his innocence for years despite multiple plea bargains and died in prison at age 39 before he was posthumously exonerated in 2009. Corey Session, Tim's brother and vice president of the Innocence Project of Texas, sat down with a group of Texas Tech law students to talk about the red flags he witnessed as Tim went through the criminal justice process. The chief of police of Texas Tech Police Department publicly said, you've got the wrong person. It's not Tim Cole. So there was another person by the name of Jerry Wayne Johnson, whose name was mentioned, who had been arrested for two other rapes with the same modus operandi. But they announced we got him, the tech rapist, Tim Cole. Jerry Wayne Johnson, who was already serving life sentences for other crimes, later confessed to the rape that Cole had been convicted of, with his DNA backing up the claims. You can't say what well, everybody's in prison because they belong there and, and the system never makes mistakes. The system makes tons and tons of mistakes. We need to be an open mind. It's been a tough three and a half decades for the family, but they have never stopped fighting for change. Successfully passing the Timothy Cole Act in 2009 to increase the compensation given to exonerees. They also helped create the Tim Cole Advisory Panel on Wrongful Convictions to study its prevention across the state. I have to give all the credit to my parents and um, our family and our faith. I know that uh, his life had purpose and I know that his life and his purpose has helped me achieve a lot of things in my life and more than anything, you know, I know that his life will continue to inspire others. And so that's what continues to uplift me and carry me through these 35 years. Their mother making a huge impact on the legal and advocacy work they do today. The route to all change is in education. When the DNA test uh, came back and it was not Tim, uh, and she said, no, there won't be any demonstrations. I'm a teacher by trade. There'll be education, which will lead to legislation. And Tim's life and legacy is a baton that we're trying to pass on to law students around this country. I still believe in the justice system, even though it doesn't believe in me. A quote from Timothy Cole and a reminder of the hope he had for the oppressive systems that kept him and others like him from freedom. Reporting from 19th and University, Elizabeth Fitz, KLBK News.